Hey folks, uh, today I'm going to teach you how you can integrate cursor with Logfire via MCP. Okay, so assume uh, you have this project, it's a fast API application, and well, you want to connect your cursor with, uh, with Logfire. So what you're going to do is going to create the .cursor directory, then you're going to add the mcp.json file, and in here you're going to configure the MCP service that you want for this project. So if we go to our docs, you're going to get the what the, com the, the, the definition is. So you just define the MCP servers, log fire, and the command in it. So we do need uh, a read token. So what you're gonna do is actually go to our docs, sorry, go to your project. Uh, you have your project here, then you go to settings, then you need to go to read token. And on read token, you just add MCP server or something like that as a description, and then you have the token. Don't worry about this. I'm gonna actually uh, revoke the token after uh, you s I, I finish this video. So we don't need to not worry about securities here. Uh, okay, so we I now have this token. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just refresh the, the cursor. Sometimes it really loads again the tools. So we're gonna see uh, loading. Okay, it seems it worked. So we have this server running already. If you see, I have two endpoints slash which just returning hello world and the other dash slash users that, um, well, either has an exception randomly or actually returns the data of the users. Okay, so if I run the hello world, it's okay. If I have run the users, oh, sorry, my bad. If I run the users, sometimes it works, sometimes it works, and sometimes it also works. Oh, I should play on the lottery. Okay, and sometimes it fails, okay? So what we're going to try now is to actually see, interact with the MCP server through the agent that Cursor has. So let's see how many times did, uh, was the slash and point called. So it knows that we're in the main file. So let's see what happens here. So it's actually calling uh, arbitrary query. So it already worked. Uh, so it tried select count every time where the target was a slash. Uh, yeah, and the method was get, okay? So it happened eight times. So what if we want to actually, how many times it actually happened in the last uh, five minutes? Let's see, let's see. Okay, it was called one time in the last five minutes, perfect. What about uh, how many times, uh, how many exceptions? Okay, maybe, how, yeah, how many exceptions did we have in the last uh, five days, for example? Let's see, find exceptions, 10 exceptions in the last 10 days. Okay, what about in the last five minutes? What else can we do? We can also ask, uh, can you tell me how many times uh, different HP status code were uh, sent? Like 200, 300, let's see what happens. I'm actually curious about this. Okay, so 200 happened uh, 61 times, 400 for 15 times, 500 10 times, and 401 times. Okay, so we can actually do many things with the MCP server that we have uh, log fire, with the log fire. Uh, I hope you can, folks, uh, can you folks try it and let us know, uh, yeah, how is your experience? <laughs> Thank you.